So now in this video we're going to look at the circuit that I've been using in recent videos here. So I laid it out so it's a little easier to see what's going on. We got this resistor on the positive rail. This is a fixed resistor. This one is a 15 kilo ohm right now. And this resistor is a photoresistor. It's setting a voltage to the base of the transistor. So I'm not going to go into that too much. I'm going to talk about modifying the circuit. So you see I have a couple other resistor values. Right now, now you can see that the uh, LED is off. We have 5 volts of power at both rails. And when I hit the button, the light got a little bit brighter, the lamp. Now when I hit it, the lamp turned off, but the ceiling light's on. It's about the equivalent of a 60 watt light bulb. Now the LED came on. When I turn the lamp to the low setting, the LED stays on. But when I put it on the medium or the high setting, the LED goes off. So with this resistance, 15 kilo ohms, we're at about a halfway point. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the 15 kilo ohm resistor. And first, we're going to do the 33 kilo ohm, 33,000 ohm resistor, red for three red for three, and then red for three zeros for 33,000. Now you can see, if I don't block with my finger, the LED is on, or is off, I mean. I turn it brighter, the LED is off. I turn the lamp off, now the LED is on. And at the low setting, the LED is off. So now we have three settings, well any light from the lamp turns it off, but uh, without the lamp, just the low wattage light above us, you can see that the LED comes on. So with the higher resistor on the positive side, you'll have uh, less light needed to turn the LED off. And because uh, there's an on state and an off state, so you gotta turn it from one to the other. And uh, so that's with more resistance you'll need less light for the LED to be off. So that's with the 33,000, 33 kilo ohm resistor. So now we're gonna replace the 33 kilo ohm resistor with the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. And the reason why I'm using these particular value resistors are because these are the options I have with the kit that I have and so they are the resistors I've been using in most of my videos and they come in these nice baggies that are, are marked and they come in a kit in a, a case and stuff but in any case now we swapped out the 33k resistor for the 4.7k resistor so now we're using less resistance on the positive side fixed resistance I should say on the positive side than the 15 kilo ohm resistor and let's see how that turns out. So now you can see that under any setting the LED stays on. So I have my flashlight here, LED flashlight, which is quite a bit brighter and even when I hold that far away the LED comes on but when I get closer then the LED turns off. Also this flashlight even if it's farther away you can zoom in if you want the light but uh, in any case there you go you need a pretty bright light to get the LED off so if you wanted it to be like sunlight or something you'd want to be a lot closer to the 4.7 kilo ohms if you want it that bright before it turns off it'll be more in that range than these range with uh, these other ones you could see that it took a lot less light to uh, turn the LED off so this is the major adjustment you make with this circuit. This is just kind of our load. You can swap out the load for whatever you want to turn on and off. This resistor is just to protect the LED and also the transistor from uh, too much current. The LED is the weakest component though in this uh, circuit. So any adjustments you want to make for uh, light sensitivity is this uh, fixed resistor here, the photoresistor you're just kind of stuck with uh, whatever you get. You have to make your adjustments on this end.